Hello, I'm Kenyatta. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's get into it. This will be a reading from the writer Wait. The title of this reading is called Legal Means. You may have uh, someone or people in your energy who have been uh, trying to steal from you or manipulate you in some way, shape, or form. And maybe up to this uh, date, you know, whatever it is they were trying to achieve, maybe it didn't work. Maybe some of it did, maybe to an extent, okay, but not all of it because they keep... Um, plugging away okay into your energy into your energy field trying to it's like i'm here trying to destroy you okay so it's just like downright destruction at this point maybe they got some shit that belonged to you or whatever okay but see that wasn't enough they got to do some more we got more to do okay we gotta take this person completely out okay because we don't like what they've been saying what they've been pointing out what they've been letting people know Okay, about us. Maybe you have uh, been talking about it. Maybe you are exposing it. Okay, speaking your truth. And they don't like that the truth is being spoken. See, you were never supposed to know the truth. You were just supposed to die and, you know, <laughs> I mean, die and fly away. But you didn't. Okay, you kept on going. You kept on you know, living, doing you, being you, so on and so forth, okay? But see, like I said, again, that wasn't enough, okay? What they had done to you. So I'm here now. We got to try some quote-unquote legal means. We got to find a way to take you down legally. Okay. Even though what we're doing is destructive, even though what we're doing is wrong, even though what we're doing probably is illegal, okay? Uh, maybe on a a spiritual plane, astral plane, okay, um, physical plane, other and otherwise. And maybe you, you know, you probably are an innocent victim to these people's uh, destruction here. Okay, and madness. I'm talking. I'm hearing something about madness resurfacing or something like that. Okay, but nevertheless, okay, that's just that, that wasn't enough for them. You, you got away. You were supposed to let us kill you. Isn't that interesting? You were supposed to let them take your life in the process. So they could be somewhere on the, you know, cheering. Yay, we did it. Okay. I keep hearing like, that wasn't enough. There's got to be more. Okay. So they probably, you know, have been doing a lot of uh, spiritual work, psychic work. Well, I'll say spiritual work, rather. Okay. Probably some psychic manipulation, too. Okay. Psychic attacks and that type of thing. Okay. But definitely spiritual. You know, black magic witchcraft. <laughs> okay. Qualify that however you, you want. Okay. Whoever this resonates with. Because I feel like they probably tried to kill you in the astral realms. Okay. And others other realms okay and this and this one material realm okay and i'm hearing they did okay but that didn't work okay, they tried to definitely tried to kill you i'm hearing like your dreams i'm hearing something about your synopsis okay just like you know kill you and this is the, the synopsis of they who they was their life moving on yeah we did it but they couldn't and i'm hearing they can't Okay. Well, and I'm I'm hearing that they won't dare try again. So maybe they've received some kind of I'm hearing punishment or karma for doing that. Okay, for violating I'm hearing like astral law. Okay, 
some kind of laws, maybe on the astro, in the astral field or some some shit like that, okay? But they feel like, okay, you might have got them there, but you ain't got no divinity here. This is what they think, although, you know, as above, so below, so below, as above, you know, so within, so without, etc., etc. Okay. But that doesn't mean anything to them, okay? They think they have the dominion and the power, okay, here in this realm and that you don't. Okay, so I feel like um, I'm going to try some kind of legal something or other, paperwork I'm hearing. I, I posted that song, I don't know, you old heads, us old heads, you remember that song? She's got paper on me. I thought about that, okay, when it came to me, legal means song that wants to have some kind of papers on you okay, to do you in all the way completely okay but i'm hearing you were not a bit about it okay but we're gonna see what this is all about all right let's see what we can get here conjure up what they're conjuring up what we can conjure up based off of what they're they are conjuring up, okay? Probably some more. Um, I did a, a reading called The Fraudulent Letter, okay? So probably some more fraudulent shit. Even if there are higher ups involved in your situation, and I'm hearing, and there are, okay? Still don't mean shit ain't fraudulent. <laughs> I'm hearing it is, okay? But see, you too dumb and too, you supposed to be too dumb and stupid to know that. You, you ain't supposed to know your ass from a hole in the wall. Okay. Although they have not been able to accomplish their dirt. Their dirty deeds, I'm hearing on you and others. So, they might, you know, you may not be the only one. Okay. These particular uh, people are doing things to. Okay. All right. Let's see. All right, let's get into it. Here we have the hermit in reverse. Strength in reverse. The devil in reverse. Page of cups, upright. Six of cups, upright. Now, I am hearing that you're not supposed to be alone. You're not supposed to be lonely, okay? But you are, okay? You might be. Maybe you're not, you don't feel, you know, lonely, but you, you know, maybe you feel alone in this whole situation. But nevertheless, I feel like this, the this group here, these people, okay? And I really feel like it's two. It may be more than two in, you know, the whole general scheme of things concerning your situation, but definitely these two. Okay, feel like um, you don't have any kind of, you ain't going to see what's coming, basically. Okay. That you possibly don't have any kind of um, discernment or knowledge here, knowledge base here. Now, we uh, in, in the message that we heard while I was shuffling, said something about... Um, Okay, they whatever they was trying to do to you in, in the spiritual realm, the astral realm, okay, whatever. Okay, they saw they couldn't do that, that you had some kind of dominion, a power, something or other, okay, um, that a protection, whatever, in that realm. But see, they don't think that you do here, okay? We got the power here, okay, in the material realm, <laughs> okay? You have no knowledge here of, of material things, okay? So, you know, they could do some kind of legal shit. Fraud. It would still be fraud. Okay. But they feel, I feel like they uh, feel like you are not going to be able to um, know anything about that. You're not going to be able to use your intuition or your discernment or anything like that to help you to see, to be your guide. And because you don't have any knowledge about that, because they feel like you don't have any knowledge about that, you know, you'll be in a vulnerable position. Okay. Now, I feel like what they what they're going to do here 
some kind of way. Let's see how this is going to tie together. Now we got this devil in reverse. I feel like you have disconnected, okay, from these energies here, these two and others, okay? So any others that were involved, you have disconnected from them. You are not bound to them. You are not tied to them. You are not chained to them in any way, okay? So I feel like what they may do here is try to present some kind of offer of some old stank, offer and they, you know it of love and they don't realize that in doing this how they really look i feel that you do i feel like you'll be able to see but see they don't think that you'll be able to see you got the power there okay in that realm over there but you don't know nothing about here the material realm you know you don't you don't know anything about that this is what they're thinking you know, legal documents and whatnot. You don't know nothing about that. You can't discern what's bullshit and what ain't. You don't know how to read uh, legal documentation and use your ability to comprehend. And open a damn dictionary. And or find someone who can assist you because see you 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 don't know nothing about that. All you know is that you're gonna get some uh, kind of documentation with some legalese on it, and that's the end of that. All you squashed like a bug. But I feel like in this they're going to um, present some kind of stank cup of love here they really ain't got nothing to do with you they don't love you they don't care nothing about you okay they want to squash you but they don't know how silly they're gonna look and how silly they're gonna sound and how clownish they're gonna look and how clownish they're gonna sound and how it's going to be so very obvious that this ain't got shit to do with you in terms of no love okay you all don't love me this is what I'm hearing, okay? And this is what you know you recognize. And I feel like you're all right with that. I mean, like, I understand. And it's cool. They might try to um, say, um, see, I feel like this, they're going to, if they if this is how they treated you in the past, see, you're supposed to be naive and gullible. And because they believe you to be naive and gullible, and I, they want you to think you naive and go. They want you to to believe that about yourself. Okay. That whatever it is that you know them with all of their knowledge that they have about this three D realm, okay, that you don't have. Remember, this is what they think. Okay. That um, what they're presenting to you, you, you know, they, they, I feel like, excuse me, they're still going to be treating you as though you're just a child. I feel like this is how they're going to talk to you. This is how they're going to approach you. You're just a child. You just you don't know nothing. And we got something. We got this gift for you. We got something for you. All right. Let's keep on going here. We have the justice card here in reverse. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Ace of Pentacles upright. And we have the Sun card in reverse see once again you don't know nothing about the justice system you don't know nothing about legal legalese you're just as dumb just as naive just as gullible so because you don't have knowledge of this you know we matter of fact we can go on google okay and find something and fill in the blanks some kind of legal, something that looked like some real legal documentation fill in the blanks and send it to you and give it to you and you're supposed to believe and think that it's real because you don't have any kind of discernment you can't figure nothing out and even if you wasn't on a spiritual tip you don't that you don't have the sense in your mind to say hmm let me really look over this let me take it to someone else if I can't figure it out. Let me take it to someone else who I know 
has some grounding and understanding of these types of things so they can, you know, assist me with this bullshit. Not only are you naive and not only are you gullible, you you don't have, it, it might be something about trying to give you some money or something, or may, making you think that they're going to give you some money or something like that. Something to help you along financially. Especially if these uh, people took something from you that belongs to you, like we've been hearing about inheritance and all kinds of stuff. Okay, um, if they uh, taking some, taking some uh, money from you or something like that. Okay, and you know it, you realize it, and you've been speaking on it. However, you've been speaking on it. Okay, and it, well, in other words, it's been exposed. If nothing else has been exposed to you, and they realize and recognize, oh shit, it's been exposed to you know them they know now so now we got to figure out a way we got to figure out a means by which to um do them in again <laughs> okay to take it all but like i said earlier i don't even feel like it's about the money at this point it's simply about you it's about the destruction of you it's about destroying you it's about getting rid of you and I feel like one way in which you're going to do this is through, it has something to do with, again, with money. We're going to present this gift to this person. Mm, but I feel like, but to make them trust us. Maybe they're going to put it on some kind of legal documentation. See, it's going to go through the lawyers. It's going to go through the courts. The court system. You ain't got to deal with us. We're gonna do it, do it through the court system. We know you did you we did you wrong. It was a mistake. We didn't mean it that way. We didn't mean for things to turn out that way. So we didn't gather up together. Okay. We got this together for you. Got some funds together for you. You know, to give you back at least some of it, what we stole from you. But you ain't going to have to, so you can trust us. You ain't got to deal with us. Please see this legal documentation from the courts. But your poor broke behind. Because we done stole all your goods. And I'm here in your services. So, I mean, they might have did some kind of magic tricks or whatever, you know, if you had a business or something like that for you not to, for you to be um, unsuccessful. I'm here and they just did not want you to do well in life, not succeed. So that, that they're going to, there's going to be some kind of presentation here of financial, okay, abundance. But you see the sun card in reverse. Now that I'm here, like, don't take it, don't deal with it. Now, I don't know if it's actually, there is going to be some money attached to this at all, or if it's just, just going to be some bullshit letter that they conjure up, you know, from one of their law friends or some shit they get off Google or some shit like that, like I did with the fraudulent letter video. And, you know, the, the, the uh, person then conjured up this fake letter from the lawyer's office. That was actually a law firm, apparently. You know, they was friends. I do it for you. I put our law, law uh, the law office I work with, I put that on the let on let on the you know the company letterhead and risk my my license to practice law for you. I do it. Cause we you know they dumb. They ain't gonna figure it out. But they did. Here we have the same type of situation. There's not going to be anything attached to this. Okay, financially so. I'm here but wreck <laughs> and destruction. Now, I don't know how at this point in the reading, let's continue on and see. But don't accept it, especially if you got to sign something. Don't sign your name to shit. 
dealing with these motherfuckers. What the woman say, Miss Maya Angelou, when a person shows you who they are, goddamn, believe them. They mean what the fuck they say and what the fuck they do. That is the who that they are. If some come to you, you re do some research, goddamn. Don't jump up and get happy and see dollar signs. My money. They give me back my money. Sign on the dotted line. Okay, bitch, and you done signed your whole uh, realm of your existence away. To the false and the faulty. They're liars. Do some research before you put your hands to it. Let's continue on here. We have the lovers in reverse. Six of swords in reverse. Three of swords upright. Mm, interesting. Yeah. And maybe this might be, um, I, I heard too, maybe I'm hearing maybe an ex-lover is involved. Okay, someone you used to know, someone you used to love, okay, girl. But they ain't love you. Don't worry about it. But hold on, let me see. I, I am here, someone you used to know is involved in this. Sticking their ugly head and their ugly nose in the situation. And that's what I heard. Okay. Ugly head and ugly nose. They've gotten involved in this situation here. They've made themselves a part of it. They might be, uh, these two here might be using this person to try to get to you. But if their ex got in, their ex for a reason. Uh, one of the key words here in the book is temptation. Don't be tempted by this person here. Okay. By this ex-lover, okay, who I'm here who's calibrated themselves, who has moved into this situation to get you. See, they want to get at you too. They don't like you neither. But uh, of course, I feel like possibly they're going, they have been, you know, offered um do this and we're gonna give you some money. Uh, play a part in this so you know we can pay you don't move forward with this no matter what they say no matter what they do if you get something in the mail that type of thing okay do your due diligence All right, let's keep on going. See, like I said, two earlier in the spread, right? And then here, this ex-lover who has involved themselves. This is what the three of them got for you. Now, this person does, has to involve themselves when they have no business. But they want to play a part, too. They want to roll in the, the play, in the movie. In the show. I want I want a role. I want to play a part. I want my name in lights. Special guest. You know? The credits. I want to play a role in the, the special scenes. The scenes of your life here. Okay? I'm here in your adulthood. Okay? The, you, the young part. You, you're an adult now. The filming of your youth is done and over with. Moving on. This is where we are at now. And they want a role. Starring. Okay. Hell, even if it's just extra. Got it. Well, they don't put the extras name up there. I was an extra shit in a few of them. Okay. Well, 
was extra in Forrest Gump shit. You can see me on there too on stairs. I was up there with Tom Hanks, not too far from him. Okay, side note. And we'll put our names up there. Okay, but you understand what I'm saying. Ex lover. Then they put this person's name. Ex lover who playing the fool, who want to break your heart too. Then they put their name. Okay. That's what they want. They want to be a part. Okay, let's continue on here. Here we have Seven of Wands in reverse. Page of Swords in reverse. Ten of Pentacles up right here. They already told you your life is the goddamn Truman Show. They done told you now. We filming you. We watching you. Been watching you for, since before you was born. We knew you was coming. We made a whole show for you. Friends, family, church, neighborhood, goddamn. Okay? <laughs> the whole motherfucking night. And bitch, all you got to do is walk up out of the shit. Okay? But anyway. And as per usual, just period, they want to put you in a situation where you cannot, you know, where you, you're just going to be done for. Ain't nothing you can do. You ain't going to have, look, seven of wands. No ground to stand on. Can't fight your battles. Can't, can't handle the circumstances of life. This is, I am hearing, this is the joy okay, that they have in their hearts. The joy of them to do you in. To complete their project, project that they failed at. And I'm hearing failed miserably. But it's like they can't give up and go. Just go away. No, they have to finish it out. We got to. We got to finish this. I mean, although, oh, wow. Whoa, hold on. I mean, it had been tried. Hold on now. Some kind of court, court, some kind of law. Didn't I say something about that? Uh, 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 that earlier about um violating laws, astral laws, or something like that. Hold on. Now, it's interesting because I heard uh, something about treason. And I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I don't, how does this fit? And I'm looking at the definition. the An offense of attempting to overthrow the government of one's country or of assisting its enemies in war. Okay. So I don't know. Okay. But they had been tried. Okay. On counts of, I heard, treason. Hey, shit. I don't know what's up out going on out there in the astral realms and, and whatnot. They have already been tried here regarding that. And I mean, and they're going to be tried some more. They're going to fail. And I mean, these people are going to prison. Now, you know, maybe a spiritual prison. Shit, maybe for real prison. I mean, well, when I say for real, you understand what I'm saying. Here in the material realm, the illusion, okay, as above, so below, as, uh, as, uh, so below, as below, so above. As within, so without, etc., etc. It's going to be done because they cannot stop. They will not stop. They have to be number one. They have to defeat you. And it's like they have to take you to the cross. And I'm also in a goddamn crossroads, okay? A whole lot of that shit, okay? But they got to take you to the cross. They got to. We just got to. We got to win. Got to, draw, got to destroy them. I'm here, sucker. They think you're a sucker. Sucker. Not sucker. Sucker. They think you're dumb. Or they want you to be. Because they are. 
It's like they don't realize how foolish this whole thing has become. If they had left you alone in the first place, they wouldn't be here. If they had treated you with dignity and respect like you belonged with them, so I feel like it's definitely family, this would not be the situation. But they didn't think you was going to ever know or ever find out who you are, what you are, and what this shit, you know, what they've been doing to you all your life. That you questioned, I feel. Not only did you question it, I'm hearing, you talked about it, you mentioned it, you, you made mention of it. To all of them. They ignored you because, see, they had a plan in mind. And now this is where they stand. It's like I see folks standing in a, in a courtroom in, in handcuffs before the judge, before the law. Because you see, whether it's coming from higher ups or not, they don't give a fuck about these. them neither these two and now this dumb third one who has to stick their nose in it because they just wants to be the stout part of the show. They won't stay name mentioned too. I had something to do with that. I was part of that too. I was part of that person's destruction. I got my coins. So now they have made themselves a part of some of, of stupidity here. But maybe they was just a stupid person in the first place. They are. I, this is what I'm hearing. Don't be paying no attention. If you get any kind of fucking message. Legalese. You look at it. But I'm hearing that word bereft again. I keep hearing it as bereft. Bereft. Lacking. What, what is it lacking? The fact that it's a, a, a real, there's some fraudulent bullshit they done tied up together in, in desperation. Do your research. Read it. Understand it. Get you some, some I don't know, Black's Law Dictionary, whatever the hell. And figure that shit out for yourself. And let their energy of treating you and mistreating you like you're stupid, like you dumb. And maybe this is how they always have treated you. Okay, I'm here to target. So you can continue to be their target, like you're their target. You know, you know, I mean, I am no one's fucking target. You can keep that. Don't move in the direct direction here of these fools that they want you to move in. So that they can cheer. Yay, we, 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 we got them. We destroyed them. We did it. Yay. Okay. Pride. Yeah, we might have got a, you know, done, done violated laws and all type of shit on the spiritual realm and the material realm and, and everything. But my, my pride and my ego say I got to do this. Fuck it. Hey, if that's where they at, that's where they at. You can't focus and worry about them. That's what they want to be. That's what they want to be. It's about you. You're about you. Take care of you. You're going to get what you're supposed to have here. Whatever was taken from you, stolen from you, okay, in every way. You know how they said, you know, they in church, I'm going to take back everything the devil stole and all that kind of stuff, okay? It's coming to you. Okay, in time. Okay, it, it may be, you know, little small steps, little small things that are happening and increasing in your life as we speak. But remember, the shit ain't linear. So don't be looking for no steady progression upward. Life, things fluctuate. The pendulum swings both ways. It don't just swing one way. Here we're talking about, uh, for example, um, history. Like when I used to teach um, comparative world religion, and we talked about the indigenous cultures and whatnot, and uh, the, the differences in, uh, you know, especially when it comes to time, the cultural way of thinking, okay? As opposed, cyclical as opposed to linear. We have in a Western culture this linear type of thinking. So as things, you may have walked away, and some days things is great, and some days they're fucking not. 
some days it may seem worse than when you was dealing with the folk. But the actuality is you can say, at least I'm away from that shit. I'm not there anymore. But last year, I don't know, maybe your money was better. This year, maybe it's not. It's you still progressing. If you are focused on you and your life and, and your growth and your development and your building, you, light, time and shit, light, it's not a linear progression, this constant thing of upward. When you can look back historically and they done found a, a culture, what was in the Harappa Valley, okay, in the Indus Valley rather, the Harappa culture, where they had fucking plumbing, it did, but thousands of years before the quote unquote existence of Jesus Okay, BC, got thousands of years BC where they found plumbing and, and a lot of shit we find today. It's in my book over there. I'm not going to get it. And we talk about Atlantis and how advanced it was. And then the world went to shit. Back to some dark ages and back again. It is not linear. So do not expect that. And they'll be walking around when things are good, yay. And then things seem like they're falling apart. Boo hoo hoo. No, you keep your mind and yourself and your state focused. Because whether this shit comes into you or not, whatever was taken from you, whatever was stolen from you, from these folks, and it's and you're going to get it. It's going to happen. Once it does, that don't mean every day for the rest of your days. It's going to be just great and wonderful with a big fake grin on your fucking face all the time. No, it's not life. That's not how it works. Don't do that to yourself. Don't lie to yourself. Okay. They don't lie to us enough. That's why people think like that. And that's why people be down in the dump. Last year, everything was so good. And this year, my life must be falling apart. I ain't shit. Oh, okay. No, it's not how it works. That pendulum is going to swing both ways. It's winter right now, moving into spring, summer. But guess what, goddamn? It's going to quote unquote fall again and go right back to winter. Wherever you are, the seasons change. But because the seasons change, does that mean we're not moving from 2023 20, into 2024? Absolutely not. We are. I'm just going by the calendar we've that has been forced upon us. Right. I'm asking anything else. I am here. Forget these fools because that's what they are and that's what they're going to stay. But you remember, if anything comes to you in the mail with their name on it in any way, shape, or form, pretending like, oh, we love you. You remember the love that they gave to you? That caused you to cut it off. I just keep hearing legalese. Pay attention to that shit. Don't go signing your name to shit. Read it and reread it multiple times if you have to. And for some folk, you probably would just do well with just, as soon as you see their name, rip, rip down the toilet. Moving the fuck on, okay? You do what you want to do. I ain't tell. Don't say Kenya told you to do that. Do the proper research that you need to do. Take care of yourself, cause they damn sure ain't. What they want to do is destroy you, get rid of you. Thank you.